Welcome back to Gin Reviews from South Florida. Tonight, we are going to go back to the United Kingdom and we're going to review Pinnacle Gin. Pinnacle Gin. We're coming in at 40%. We're made in Europe, the United Kingdom. Classic on the nose, classic on the build. Grain is the base and the only known botanical, Juniper. Well, at least I got that, right? Pinnacle Gin is a bargain brand from a name that probably calls to mind vodka before it does gin, in fact. The Pinnacle brand holds over 40 flavored vodkas, ranging from citrus to whipped cream. In the tradition of uh, flavoring neutral grain spirit, which for the vodkas comes from a distillery in France, you might not be surprised uh, they take their hand at a gin. However, it's worth noting that the bottle says it is distilled in England, and it does right there on the back. Distilled four times and bears the name London Dry Gin. So, it is in fact something better than the brand itself might otherwise suggest. The botanicals are added via distillation, and then the final product is cut with water from Wales. Beam Centauri bought the brand uh, from the main based White Rock distilleries a couple years ago. And although inexpensive, I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> um, well, here is the bottle right here. It is, uh, it's a beautiful green bastard here. So, uh, Pinnacle Vodka, like I was saying, the whipped cream one and all that, I remember that coming out years ago and actually partaking in a few different uh, flavors and really the only thing I got from it was a headache so let's hope that doesn't happen with this let's open this bastard up all right we use this guy so we're at a 40% so not too too strong Let's see if we can figure out what other botanicals they use in this. <laughs> okay. Um, it's strangely reminding me of their vodka. I mean, I wonder if they got the wrong thing in the, the wrong bottle. There's this ethanol fume coming off of this, all right? And it's not anything pleasant. I mean, you could see it. it's legging. I mean, it, it's a mess. It's really a mess. I mean, I wasn't expecting too much from, you know, a, a gin that its roots are in vodka and cheap vodka at that. But, all right, so that vapor, the ethanol vapor is so strong, it's hard to, I do detect the juniper and I detect citrus. So I can, I can say the two notes I'm getting besides the burning ethanol is juniper and citrus. Wow. I don't know, man. I really don't. All right, let's see what happens. I'll hope for the best. Salute and uh, God bless, right? Do one of these. Good Catholic. suggest drinking this neat. <clears throat> In fact, I almost just got sick. That is not right. Um, I, don't, I really don't know what to make of this. I mean, it is, it is so damn too much of that burn, of the wrong kind of burn. It's, it, it is just, it floods over everything. 
On the back end, I can taste the citrus, but I don't know what citrus they use. I have no idea. And the juniper, it's, it's lackluster. It's very, very lackluster. I mean, again, I wasn't expecting too much from this, this, but I was expecting at least something resembling gin. We're gonna do a simple GNT. When I say simple, I mean just a little lime and ice tonic gin. All right. Oh man, I can't believe how bad this one is. All right. Well, I'm gonna just add that to that, and then we're gonna add a little bit of tonic. You know what, I'm gonna add a little orange bitters too. Yeah. A little bit of uh, Regan's. And uh, just uh, a little piece of lime. Hopefully it'll, I don't know. I re I'm not expecting too much. I just don't wanna get sick. And uh, yeah, that's another fun thing. Reviewing a gin and then getting sick from it. Oh. Alright. Again, God, please. Look out for me. <laughs> it's nothing. I mean, it's... The tonic is masking, thank God, that really disgusting ethanol... Nastiness. Um... The citrus, the lime, and the uh, Regan's over there is, is doing a good job of holding its own. I, I don't taste gin though. I still don't taste gin. No. Okay. So, like I was saying, this is a bottom of the shelf gin and it should be treated as such. If you are looking for a way to pass the time, I would say take a bottle of this and throw it against the wall as hard as you can. You'll have a little bit of uh, excitement. You'll get to see, you know, green shards of glass bursting, and you might even get a if you have a spark come from it, you might get a little, you know. That'd be way more, more fun than, than drinking this, because this is garbage. This is probably the worst gin I've ever had or ever reviewed on this channel. Yeah, I'm gonna say that with 100% accuracy here. I mean, Boz, Boz, uh, Ford, Bosword, <laughs> that squirrel pink one I did, that was bad. I mean, that was bad in its own right. But this is the worst gin I've ever tried. Do not purchase this okay if you if you want to have um you know like if you want to get a really nice inexpensive gin like i always say go with bee feeders okay they're very inexpensive you can get almost a half gallon size for like 30 dollars for that this here was 12 dollar gin maybe 10 dollar gin and it's exactly it shouldn't even be that much if it was five bucks i would say they're paying too much for it do not do not purchase this gin. I'm so glad I'm here to let you in on that. But I'm sure you you excellent gin drinkers out there probably knew ahead of time. They can't even, you know, get a botanical bill on this. I can't find nothing. So <laughs> hopefully we'll uh, we'll just strive on. We'll just ride out this storm here and do another review with some better quality uh, gin out there. So from me to you, to you to me, to everyone here in the States in the middle from sea to shining sea, I want to thank you and wish you a wonderful morning, afternoon, gorgeous evening. And if you're new to the channel, I'd ask you to please subscribe, hit the like button, all that jazz. And uh, I'm just going to hold this here and say have a great, great one. And one more thing. Your bastards. Ciao. Ooh, drink gin. Drink gin. Ooh. Hello.
I'm gonna just keep howling here while, you know, you do the right thing and subscribe.